Hey everyone, so I'm going to quickly show you how to reinstall Windows or install any other Windows. But uh, for this point, we're going to do reinstall Windows 10. So by default, GPD Win comes with build 1511. If you go directly to Microsoft's website, where you can just get to it from right here. Uh, alternatively, you can search for it. If you just go for a Windows Media Creation tool uh, for Windows 10, it's going to be the first link that you find. Um, so literally just go right there, uh, and that'll load. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the tool, and that's going to load up. We can close this web browser, and that'll load in this thing. And when you launch it, it's going to say getting a few things ready, and then you're going to have to accept. Just click Create Installation Media for this PC. Uh, you're going to, by default, it's going to pick those settings. Uh, and then what's going to happen is, uh, well, provided that you had space on your disk like I do, uh, I did, you'll basically be asked to either install in place or install to a USB stick. Uh, and I have a USB stick here. And you're just going to click USB stick and then it's going to do that process and then you're going to close that. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have on, once that finishes, your USB stick is going to look like that. It's going to say ESD USB. And what I recommend doing uh, inside of the support folder so that it carries forward uh, go ahead and download Double Driver, and Double Driver can be found from MajorKeeks.com. When you run it, you're going to have a system, a thing that looks... That minimize? Okay. Double Driver looks like that. You're going to say Scan Current System, and then select All, and it's going to stack everything, and click Backup. And you can choose to back it up to a, a zip drive, which I've already done. Uh, so again, if you look and put it in the Support folder, uh, you can see right there where it says Default String, the one above it. Um, that's where it doesn't, GPD didn't label what the system was inside, so it just shows up as default string. And inside there is every driver that came with your GPD win. Uh, outside of that, the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install uh, Jelly Bean Key Finder. I'm not going to load it because it's going to show a bunch of uh, serials that are personal to me. Um, so that's it. Um, basically, uh, that's the first step before you do anything. So you want to back up your drivers get your CD key for uh, Windows 10 even though you shouldn't necessarily need it uh, put the media, Windows 10 media creation uh, di ISO and automatically put it on your flash stick and then you can go ahead and uh, reboot so what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to settings and you can see update and security recovery and then restart now Wait for that to go. Let's let it focus. Focus. There we go. So you're going to click on use a device. Uh, you're going to want to use the removable device. The GPD is, GPD is, the win is rebooting. Okay, now it's reading from you can see that it's in portrait style, which is going to happen. So you're going to want to click next. Is the uh, the touch driver is not working? So let's we're going to click tab on the seat the keyboard. You can click space on next. Click space on that. Install now. Let's really just go like this, no? tab next okay now what you want to do is you want to go down to custom click space and now here is important um, I'm looking at this sideways it'll be better to do it this way okay so now you can see drive zero is all of the ones that we want to touch you don't want to touch anything else uh, let's see free space 57 yeah so it only sees that stuff which is good so go ahead and click alt D to delete all of these things because you just want to have a, a fresh start. Okay, down, Alt D. Again, make sure that you have everything backed up when you're doing this. Okay, so now you see that I deleted everything else, and so now it just says drive zero, and there's a 64 gigs of, well, you know, it's 58 of. And wait for it to start writing and stuff. And there it goes. So, uh, 
just have to wait for this to finish. Alright, so that process finished. Uh, I don't know if the touch screen is still working. No, it's not. So let's go ahead and tab to this. You can just fill out this stuff however you want. Uh, you can just use express settings. Hopefully I can, yeah. So I'm just going to click customize and turn everything off, and then we'll see where it goes next. Well, Alright, so as you can see, all the drivers are not there. Also, Windows still shows as it not being activated. But once we can connect to the net, um, that should be fine. But right now, I'm going to run double driver. Again, none of this actually works, so the mouse drivers and stuff doesn't work. If you need, plug in a... At this point, you just don't need this installed anymore. Um, I do recommend copying off any of the drivers and stuff that you had. Uh, but you can also plug in a mouse, a USB mouse, to drive around. However, don't... Uh, remember that you have this context this context key so that's more or less the right click and you can use tab and the arrow keys to like navigate also like Windows E will bring up Explorer so there's a lot you can do with the keyboard so don't feel afraid to use this and, and move around with tab to cycle through different stuff using the context menu for a right click you can do everything that you need to do uh, without a mouse initially but if you do like a mouse just go ahead and plug it in and tool around uh, quick break while I install all the stuff. Okay, just so that I can show you. So I did connect the mouse to it. I just wanted to show you that it does work. Um, and all you want to do is you just want to go to Double Driver, right click on it, and go to Administrator. Run as Administrator, and then from there, yeah, click Yes. Uh, and then from there, just click Restore, and you're gonna see. Sorry for my shakiness. Uh, locate Backup. Right now I've located, um, I have the, the compressed file on my desktop that I copied off of uh, the USB stick that I had Windows 10 installed on. So I put that in that support directory and then I copied it off. Did all that via the keyboard. Uh, so we'll wait for this to populate and then we'll show you all the things. It should only check what isn't installed um, and then you can just install from there and then everything, you'll see everything working again. Alright, so there you go. All the things that need to be installed are checked. Let's bring the mouse in here and you can see that. So we're just going to click Restore Now. And click OK. And then it's going to bring up the Windows own uh, driver utility. And you're going to click Next. And it's going to start installing the drivers. And then we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to try to activate Windows and see if they ask me to input any key. Alright, so that's it. You can see that it's uh, fully installed. It restored all the drivers. If we click on this, this is Windows built-in one, and go through everything. Click Finish. Um, I really recommend just uh, rebooting at this point in time. I mean, you can see the, the touchscreen drivers are working now. It's uh, in the correct orientation. You can see that the Wi-Fi is working. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and restart, um, but for all intents and purposes, like you can see, nothing is unidentified in the device manager. Um, so that's it. Let's go ahead and reboot. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I just connected to Wi-Fi and it says Windows is activated. Didn't have to put in a CD key at all. It's just free for these types of devices by Windows. Um, so the, uh, from a default clean install, you're going to have 44.9 gigabytes free. Uh, and you can see this is a batch script that you need to run for Wi-Fi. Um, it's going to replace that text file. Uh, I can make this little thing available. So even if you do restore your Wi-Fi drivers, you're going to have to run this batch file. You don't have to run the batch file. You just delete that text file and replace a text file that is supplied in the zip. Uh, I will have that zip in the uh, description field, so you can just download that and then run it. Uh, and then Wi-Fi will work, uh, as it is for me, as you can see right there. And that's it. That's how to uh, reinstall Windows 10 have all the drivers work. I mean, all the like touch drivers are working, as you can see. Also, if we do this, you can hopefully, yep, you see the mouse is working. So that's it. Everything works. Everything's good. Um, and I'm now on a clean install of the Anniversary Edition. Good times. Also, I have the 8750, as you can see there. So that's it. Um, if you have any other questions about how to reinstall, just let me know. Thanks.